I want to explain to you the five rituals of an entrepreneur. When I talk about five rituals, many people might be wanting to chew me up, telling me, Keith, today you have brought things about rituals here. But when I say rituals, I basically mean things that you can never do without as an entrepreneur. That is what I'm about to talk about. So number one, bet on your strengths. Betting on your strengths. Don't worry about other people. They will adjust. We all have strengths. What is your strong point that you ought to do so that other people can be able to see and buy from you? Many people rush to what others are doing, not knowing that maybe that is not your strength. Let's say, for example, I've seen so many people who want to become a musician. They want to become a singer because uh, so-and-so is singing, another one is singing, a friend is singing, and uh, that is not your strength. Maybe you're an athlete, or maybe you're a dancer, or maybe you're an actor or actress. And uh, strengths differ with different kinds of people. And the reason that some people succeed so much while others don't is because you followed your strength and that's why you were able to succeed. While others did not follow their strength, they followed someone else's strength and that's why they did not succeed. For example, I discovered that I'm very, very good in talking and all of the time I'm always explaining things to people and it gives me a lot of pleasure and a lot of passion when I'm explaining things to people about doing business and doing this and social media marketing and so much. And I decided since this is my strength, it's not something that I'm struggling to do, let me not just be any other YouTuber who just goes because maybe I want to start a a cooking channel and that's not my strength. I, I hate cooking. All my friends know that I really hate cooking but I like good food. Uh, but you see my strength is in speaking so I decided that I'll be a speaker and I'll train people on how they can make money because that is what I enjoy most. So if you're an entrepreneur look on your strengths. What exactly do you enjoy most and make it a ritual. Go for that okay. Number two work work and work. You can sit down and expect everything to come like manna from heaven. It will never happen. You have to work hard as much as you can. People are always saying that we need to change the world. Don't change the world, change yourself, change your techniques, change your tactics. When I was starting my YouTube channel, uh, it was a little bit, uh, many people were getting confused and asking me, Keith, how comes you have decided to uh, start a YouTube channel? You've started explaining to people, teaching them about what you do and all those kind of things. But I discovered one thing. I just did not want to start a channel which just taught people once in a blue moon and explain maybe once in a while, but I had to work myself up to make sure that I achieve the dreams that I want. That's why when I was starting, I was doing one video in a month or in two weeks or three weeks. But I decided if I want to be an exceptional YouTuber, I'm going to be posting videos three times in a week. Even sometimes I do four, even five. It doesn't matter because if you want to be successful, you have to do things differently from the other people. You have to wake up early, make up your script, make up everything, do the lighting, do the... Like my team all the time, I'm talking with my guys and they're telling me, Keith, every time you decide on something, you just go for it and you wake up and you know we want to go and do this and that it's it's just we don't take time you know i for me i don't like thinking twice or thinking thrice no if it can be done do it right there and then work yourself up do as much as you can and achieve your dreams because working is the only way which will make you become successful in any career that's why as i as i as i wind up on that point that's why you hear some people are very talented and yet they are overtaken over by other people who are almost talentless. If you look at musicians, you will see some guys who sing so badly and so poorly and you ask yourself, how come this guy have made it in the industry? While another guy is a very good singer, he does everything so nicely and he's still lagging behind, he's still an upcoming artist and you wonder what happens. Hard work beats talent. Don't forget about that, okay? 
Point number three, business has to be put into perspective. Business has to be put into perspective. Now, entrepreneurship is like dating a bad boy or a bad girl. You like, you like them, you like everything about them, but you hate their character and you hate exactly what they do and make you furious and that hassle, you just hate the hassle of you calling your girlfriend who is a, a, a bad girl or your boyfriend who is a bad boy and all the time they are taking you around and they, but when they come, whenever you're together, you're having the best time but they are players, they spend all your money, they, you have it's like you're buying them, you know so entrepreneurship is the same thing when you're an entrepreneur you will hate the hustle, fine but you'll enjoy the fruits. Whenever you get things done right and everything works out the way you want, you're going to enjoy it. But the hustle is so bad. The hustle is so bad. Everybody hates to hustle. But if you hate hustling, you will never make it. That's why I'm telling you, uh, hate the player but love the game. Or I don't know how I'd say that. <laughs> <laughs> you'll enjoy it. you'll enjoy it in your own way you'll understand it in your own way number 4 execute your ideas this is basically bringing your ideas to light bring your ideas to light you can have a very nice idea but you never bring it to light you always this idea you're putting it behind 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 every time you're not uh, you don't want to execute your idea you're just saying i know this i know that i know this but you never execute anything there's no special time that you ever woke up and say i'm going towards my dream every day is planning 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 have you ever seen guys who have booklets and booklets and booklets of planning but they have never executed anything start Everything else will fall into place. That's the main thing that I, I call executing your ideas. Don't keep on planning. If you're a comedian and you want to start uh, creating a comedy channel, fine, go for it. Don't keep on creating jokes until they fade, until somebody else hears the joke and you see it on media and somebody else has used the same joke. No, execute your idea fast. You are going to grow with time. Don't worry, you're going to grow with time. It's going to take just a little time and you'll be perfect when i was starting my youtube channel it took me a lot of time and a lot of pain here and there thinking oh god i made this mistake oh god i made this mistake i don't know what to do what are people going to say but i said i don't care about anything let me just start everything else will fall into place i had bad audio i had bad camera angles I, so many things were just not proper just go back and check my older videos but as I grow, I'm growing with people. Even my fans, the guys who are watching, they're growing with me. They are seeing improvement from this to this. And of course, comment below if you've been able to see the improvement and tell me which of my videos was a joke before. I know some of you will really tell, yeah, Keith, I understand the, what you, where you're coming from. I understand where you're coming from and where you're going because I can see the changes. And every day we are purchasing new equipment, we are purchasing new things and we are trying different styles and we are... Uh, that's basically what I'm saying, executing ideas. And the final point, the fifth point is don't overlook storytelling. Don't overlook storytelling. Now, people only care about presentation. How you present your idea how you articulate whatever you're saying to them how you how you explain people don't care about anything they just want you to bring in the emotion in marketing now most of the time uh, you want to sell a very nice product fine it's very good but the only problem that you have is that you don't have a good story like i told you before in a previous video that stories sell but facts tell facts they will just tell facts this is a mobile phone a good mobile phone i love oppo oppo is uh, i'm not promoting oppo but i'm just telling you oppo i like it because it has a very nice uh, 48 megapixel mobile phone and so much like this one is an a9 something like that and i enjoy but if these guys they will just come and sell to me telling me about the specs and all those kind of things fine we may buy because of the specs those are facts 
but stories are the ones which sell every item. When somebody tells me about the specs, about how it looks and all that, I, I don't really care about that. All I need is a good story, somebody telling me how the mobile phone has made him feel, the feeling, the emotion. We got this mobile phone, the event was so nice and people were taking selfies which they posted somewhere and the quality was so nice. And, you know, create a story, even if you're you're literally explaining about the specs, but make it so much like a story because people want to buy stories. They don't want facts. Every time you tell people about facts, we all have facts from left, right, and center. Nobody's going to buy. So all we need is the story. And if you're an entrepreneur, you have to have those kind of rituals that I've talked about. You have to put them down in your memory all the time as you're selling, as you're doing anything, and your life will be a success in the enterprise entrepreneurship world if it is the first time you watching our videos kindly subscribe to our channel i don't want you to miss any video hit that notification button so that you don't miss any video because this channel is going to be the biggest in africa the biggest in the world mark my words we are going far and we are going far and i want you to be with us because i know you're going to learn more than you could ever imagine god bless you and have a great time see ya